Hello my beautiful babies, welcome back again to my channel and if this is your first time here, well, hello, how's it going? My name is La Joe Gomez Beauty or Joe Gomez Beauty and I'm a self-taught makeup artist. In this channel, we love everything that has to do with makeup, beauty, skincare, that bell rang just fine, baby. I hit the spot. Because today we have a skincare video. But before we move any further, I want to kindly ask you to please subscribe to my channel to activate the notification bell so every single time that I will be uploading new content on my channel, YouTube will let you know that I've done so. Don't forget to also follow me on other social media platforms where you can find me as Joe Gomez Beauty on Instagram, TikTok, and also on Twitter as Joe Gomez Beauty one the one and only my beautiful baby and without any further ado without making this intro super long super tedious let's move on to the good stuff and you know and i know we all know that for a lot of women it's a super huge concern to have flawless skin to take really good care of our skin because it's so difficult we all have different needs different skin types but there's one common factor we all have to do and that is cleansing or cleaning our skin, hydrating our skin, and protecting it with active ingredients that are really gonna help us and also target the difficult areas, the main problems we have with our skin. For me, I wouldn't say that I was the most blessed person, the most blessed girl on earth. Honestly, I am not, but I do consider to have semi-okay skin. But to keep it this good, to keep it this way, I do have to follow a very thorough, deep, and also religious skincare routine, especially me that I'm a beauty content creator, a beauty blogger. So it's so important to me to keep it moisture, to keep it hydrated, radiant, and also to target and fight fine lines and wrinkles because it is a concern i'm almost 30 years old i'm reaching the 30th floor in life you know my beautiful babe so once you hit that spot you're of course gonna be having issues with fine lines and texture and pores and you have to target all of those problems with specific products that are going to really fulfill those needs and really help you on the areas that you need so tonight you see me with a full face with a glam face on with a beat face but we're gonna be taking it all away you and me together so you're gonna see me from this beautiful glam to my real bare crusty self <laughs> the girl that I really am and you're gonna find out that I do have redness and that I do have pores and a little bit of texture and I'm a human being I mean experience. like I've always let you know so I love this glam if you're interested about this tutorial this video the products that I use this one has has a little brother that is a Mexican brother in Spanish and I was trying a Mexican brand a lot of different products this is a full face of Besu or Bisu marca mexicana de cosméticos that trust me it has great quality products you can see them in action just by watching the video so if you're interested about that go make a pause go watch the previous one and then come back to this one where you're gonna have a lot of fun you're gonna find out which products do I use to keep my skin at its best Let's move on. What is the first thing that I do? Okay, let's see. First, I remove all of my jewelry. All of it. Everything that's on my wrist. Everything that's on my ears. These hoops that are so sexy and sultry. Leaving my fence. It's time for me to take them off. Good, honey. That felt good. And this is the first thing that I do. I remove my jewelry. Oh! These are not so comfortable, not so comfortable. Then I do some sort of a ponytail where I just updo my hair. Today I have this yellow one over here. I pull my hair up. 
to remove all of the hair from your face, especially if you're not gonna be taking a bath or washing your hair, that's always gonna be a good option or a good idea. Okay, the hair is up, right? Now I'm gonna be removing my lashes. For that, I need a freaking mirror to remove my lashes and avoid ripping my own. So I always go like this. Okay, that was one. That was very easy. Mm. Maybe it's because of the ton of glitter that I have. Okay, now I'm gonna be removing the other one. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit more stubborn. Oh, yeah. This one doesn't want to come off as easy. So, I'm gonna give you a great tip for that. You're gonna grab a cotton swab, just like this one, and you're gonna be dipping it in into your oil-free eye makeup remover. I love this one from Neutrogena. This is just one of my favorite ones. It works every single time and you have no idea how much I love this one. It's a staple product for me. It's a classic, so I just dip it in, put the cap back on, and then I go over the line of the lashes with the cotton swab to loose the eyelash glue, and that always works. That's so easy. Did you see that? Great tip. That's gonna help you, my beautiful baby, to avoid stripping off your lashes and just to rip them off. You have no idea how many times I have that happen to me and it's so horrible because having good lashes is just so difficult and then to be ripping them off, girl, we don't want that. The next thing that I do, oh my God, my makeup is already messed up. Look at that. I feel so bad because this makeup was actually so good. I really enjoyed it. Didn't take any photos. Can you believe that? I didn't take any photos. How silly of me. I just forgot, but now I'm gonna be grabbing cotton pads. I'm gonna be grabbing this for over here. You can of course use reusable one, a towel, a cotton towel, whatever you want. I'm just gonna do whatever works for me. Please don't judge me. Be kind, be gentle. Let's spread positivity, okay? So I'm gonna be soaking this cotton pads into this oil-free makeup remover from Neutrogena. This one doesn't make my eyes red. That's why I really like this one because I've tried others, especially when I put oil on my eyes. Oh, baby, that is just like the worst thing for me. Oh, but before, let me give you another tip. Today, I use glitter, tons of glitter, so I just don't want to rub it in. I want to use a Neutrogena makeup removing towel. I know that dermatologists would say that this is just not a good option. These are just not a great option to remove your makeup and clean your face completely. So I always love to go where I put the cleaner without pressing too hard, without rubbing too hard, and I just try to take off as much as possible. Mainly the glitter. The shadow, I don't mind, because that's just powder, but glitter has texture, and I don't wanna be stripping my eyelids or just being super harsh. I'm only gonna use this towel to remove the glitter mainly. As you can see, it's coming off relatively easy. I do have a glitter adhesive. Maybe that's why it's a little bit more stubborn, but altogether, this is working just fine, baby. So you're gonna be removing it as much glitter as possible. I'm gonna go back to the other eye and I'm gonna do the same. Oh, that felt really good. Now I'm gonna go with my cotton pads and I'm gonna be covering my eyes to loosen up this mascara and I'm gonna leave them for 15 to 30 seconds, okay? Just like this, nice and gentle. Remember, you do have to be super, super gentle around your eye area because this is such a very sensitive area and it's so important to take as best care as possible of it. Not stripping it away, not damaging it. If you rub too hard, you're gonna be causing premature lines, fine lines, and baby, you don't want that. And it's so important that your cotton pads are really soaked in into the eye makeup remover, so everything is gonna be easier to be removed. Then what I do is that very gently, I start to take everything off. I use the back of the cotton pad to remove the extra. Oh, this feels good. This feels so good. I also remove my brows. Take a look at how nasty they come off. 
I missed you, baby. I missed to film a video in English, by the way. I was dying to. And I wanted to do a glow glam or go home. I haven't done one of those in a while. But, you know, I've been super, super in a mood for filming in Spanish as well. A lot of tutorials, reviews. But I promise you that videos in English are not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. Because I really enjoy making these videos, filming them, practicing English, and just have more, a little bit more opportunity to connect with people all around the world that's what i love about youtube that was the reason why i started so videos in english for me are super super important all right so i'm gonna be grabbing two more cotton pads because this makeup was a little bit heavier and i do feel like i need extra removing cotton pads so i'm gonna be going with a little bit more because it doesn't feel oily and most of eye makeup removers can be very oily and irritating for my extremely sensitive eyes which is why I just don't like them and dirt keeps coming off so that's something then another tip that I'm gonna give you is that I go back again with one swap a little bit more of the solution only this time I'm gonna go between my lashes this is eye safe to remove the eyeliner that I may have on my waterline my tight line because I usually line over there and if you don't go with a swab you're gonna have more dirt and extra residue and you don't want to have that and take a look it's dirty which indicates I had makeup inside my eye at this point I am ready for double cleansing I can use an oil or I can use something to strip away all of this makeup but what I'm gonna do today because my foundation and the products on my face were just not as hard I'm gonna be grabbing one makeup removing wipe like this one Neutrogena for the win and I'm gonna be removing all of this makeup pulling or rubbing just too hard because either way I'm gonna be washing my skin so there's no need to be that hard that harsh I just try to go on the crevices every single area of my face to remove all of this makeup and it was a lot I mean it was a lot of makeup and I'm sure that if I go over it one more time, I'm gonna be getting rid of more makeup, but I'm gonna be washing my face. So I always put foundation on my ears. So I always make sure that I'm also cleaning my skin, the skin on my ears, my neck. Now the skin is cleaner. I am ready to wash my face. I'm actually gonna go and wash my face, but I'm gonna come back with all my products so that I can show you the products that I use. My serum, today I'm gonna be applying vitamin C, so you're gonna see that in a minute, but now my skin feels just free of makeup, but it doesn't feel clean. To me, it's so important to really have clean skin. That's why I'm gonna go and wash my face. Take a look at how much dirt there was on this beautiful face face of mine unforgivable right so let me go wash my face and i'll come back to continue with the rest of my products so i'm back with a clean face there's nothing on my face just to show you that this is a real video i actually i'm on my pjs right now because i'm about to go to bed it's really really late over here 1 30 4 a.m. So it's late. Like, when I tell you that this is a get on ready with me, trust me, it is. So let's keep it moving. And then the next thing that I do is that I grab another cotton pad and I go for this micellar water. And this is the mineral aqua micellar micellar water and this is really good it has panthenol it's really good for soothing the skin but i love this one also because this one helps you to get rid of makeup if you have any traces of makeup and i only go two pumps on one cotton pad and i just go through my entire face i feel like this one really really boosts the glowiness on my skin and also how clean is it going to look this one is one of my favorites i also 
also love this one. This is a very affordable one from Oriflame Sweden. This one does have a scent and this one is for dry skin. So I prefer this one. This one doesn't have any scent to it and it feels really, really good. And I always go all over my face just to make sure that I don't have any traces of makeup, like stubborn makeup. You can just pat it in you don't have to be super harsh on your skin remember that's key you don't want to pull you don't want to tug your skin otherwise your skin is going to get saggy you're going to get breakouts so let's just protect the skin now this is a constant visitor on my channel and is this one the eye firming contour cream by oriflame sweden and this is by royal velvet you have no idea how many of these i've used over the last eight years i always go with a very generous amount underneath my eye on the actual lid and whatever is left on my finger i always put it on top of my brow same with the other finger this one is really really good to prevent fine lines and also wrinkles if you already have them it's gonna smooth them out i always grab this finger and i start distributing the product let me bring you a little bit closer babies okay that's close so I'm gonna start massaging under my eyes, just like this, with a little bit of pressure, just not too much. And then I'm gonna start distributing this product on my lids. Don't forget the skin on your lids, that one ages as well. And a lot of people only focuses on this area and it's super important to always lift up the skin. The lids as well, on top of the brow. All of this area is super, super gentle. And this is a very thin layer of skin that we have to take care and protect. I always go like this. And I love this cream because it absorbs so quickly. And I always go on the center of my forehead because I have this very annoying line over here. But trust me, this cream has really made a huge difference. I'm going upwards with this massage over here. Oh, that feels so good. And then whatever is left, I love to grab my fingers and go here on these fine lines around my mouth. And also on my mouth, just a little bit. So, the next ingredient. Usually, I use two very active ingredients or potent, more potent skincare ingredients. The first of this one being retinol. And I love this one. This is the Grand Active Retinol 5% in Esquilane by The Ordinary. This is such a good brand. I love it because it's affordable, it's efficient, it's fast. I just love it. I really, really like it and I trust in it. It has a lot of integrity. It doesn't test on animals so that is one important thing so it's clinical formulations with integrity like or the label says what I do is that if I'm gonna be using retinol one night then the other I'm gonna be using vitamin C I don't like to overlap these products on top of my skin because I don't feel that I'm getting the best result out of them so three nights per week I'm gonna be using vitamin C and then the other four to five days I'm gonna be using retinol there's one wonderful dermatologist that I do follow here on YouTube. He has a lot of great tips when it comes to using retinol. I love that and I just love their advice. I think it's wonderful. Then what I do today for example it's a vitamin C kind of a day and this is the vitamin C suspension 23% plus HA spheres 2%. This is going to be great to prevent wrinkles, help you with your pores, the appearance of your skin is going to be more glowy and also it's going to be a little bit more homogeneous when it comes to your complexion, the tone of your skin, the color of your skin is going to be super homogeneous. That's why I really like this one. But I've noticed that this one actually stings my skin a little bit. Like I do feel a stingy sensation that I'm just not a huge fan of. And for that, I do have this resveratrol 3% plus ferulic acid. This is great by The Ordinary as well. So this is an oil and resveratrol is one of the most potent and efficient antioxidants that we can use for our skin so what I do is that I grab about that's almost like a droplet like this amount will do and then what I do is that I grab a little bit of the vitamin C on the palm of my hand or on my fingertips 
just like this much. You don't need a lot, like an almond size. And then I just mix it in with my resveratrol. That's gonna help me to soothe to make this vitamin C a little bit more soothing. And I always love to go from the center of my forehead and my nose outwards. So I always go here on my chin here and I always grab and pull all my skincare products off. I don't like to pull or drag these ingredients on my neck because my neck, the skin of my neck or my neck skin is super super sensitive and just very thin and I don't like to do that so I only go with my palms upwards distributing this product the corners of my mouth, like to massage it a little bit, especially on this area to have a lot of definition, to avoid wrinkles and sagginess. Since this is an oil, it's gonna be super easy to work it on the skin. And I love this oil because it doesn't make my skin oily or greasy, you know? And it doesn't look greasy at all. It looks radiant, really plumped, and I just love it. You can also use the rose hip oil. That one is the one that's coming next after I finish this one. The rose hip oil is gonna help you with the scarring. I do have a lot of scarring, like mini scars from shaving and a little bit of acne that I had when I was a teenager. So I wanna get rid of that. As you can see, I've already worked that on my skin. I love to grab whatever is left on my ears. And then like I said, I'm not gonna be placing this one on my neck, but sometimes I grab whatever is left on the back. Why? I don't know, I just like to do that. And whatever is left on the skin on my arms, this is skin. This is gonna get benefits out of doing this as well, so that's so important. I'm gonna wait for a little while for this to really sink into the skin. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be talking about the moisturizer that I apply at night. And it's this Optimals by Oriflame Sweden from the line Optimals. And this is the Age Revive Anti-Aging Night Cream. I love this one, my beautiful babes. I've also talked about this one a ton. Most of these products, you've seen them before on my channel. Maybe not in action, but you've seen them definitely on my empties video. Videos. I do have empty videos. One of them is in Spanish and the other one is in English. And I love to show you the products that I use because these are products that I honestly use and I want you to see how beautiful that vitamin C, the glow, the moisture, the hydration it adds to my skin without being greasy or oily. This is only going to be acting at night, helping me to even out my skin, to make it look more luminous and beautiful. But now it's time to apply this one. This one has a color complex of anti-aging properties and it also smells amazing. This one really smells like blueberries, raspberry, some kind of a berry. I love this one and also the consistency is just lovely because it's just not a thick cream. It looks like very thick but actually it is some sort of like a gel cream. Cream. It's like water-based and I love that one because I've already had the oil. I don't want to add anything that's going to be greasy. This is very, very thin. I'm gonna start applying it on the center of my forehead, the center of my nose as well. You can do a massage. to really decongest and decompress all of this area. With this one, I can go on my jaw and I always love to do a little massage by going upwards. Feels so good. Don't neglect your ears, the back of your neck, and I'm not touching this area. The skin of my neck is super, super sensitive, and I just work this cream until it fully absorbs. As you can see, my skincare routine at night, especially, it's just not packed with a lot of different products. It's just not complicated. I don't like to overcomplicate my life. Life is already complicated and at night you want to do something that works, that is efficient, that's going to be super fast and to have 
really good results and this one really plumps my skin in such a beautiful way I want you to see that I love it I honestly I feel so proud of my skin the condition that it has of course I have issues like any normal person would do but I love how luminous and hydrated and how tight my pores look on this area they used to be a little bit more enlarged but now they are a little bit better so I'm really proud of that for example if I did something like a laser or IPL on my bird I love to go over with this mask and this is the intense skin recharge from Novash or Flame Sweden and this promises eight hours of sleep in a cream and trust me it does that it's again very thin it's not oily I think you can almost see that through the camera that it's just not thick it doesn't stick to the walls of the jar just because it's super super lightweight this is the consistency I want to show you how beautiful this mask is it's just so beautiful hydrating but it's just not thick it's gonna absorb super quickly you can apply this one on top of your moisturizer or alone I love to apply it both ways. Today, I'm not going to be applying it because I didn't do something super harsh or severe on my skin like IPL or any kind of laser or 2% salicylic mask from The Ordinary that I also love, but that one can be a little bit more drying. So I'm not going to do that. And then what I love to do is to grab this serum. This is a serum from Novash as well. And this is the Neck and Decolette Advanced Sculpting Serum. This is a neck and clear. This is a neck and cleavage serum from Novash that I love. This is again very very thin. I'm gonna be grabbing this amount, approximately one almond. This is very runny and beautiful. You can apply this one all over your chest, your tatas if you want to, but I'm only gonna be demonstrating you on my neck. I always love to apply this one here. It absorbs super quickly. It has a very, very pleasant scent. And I love to go upwards. Remember, always up. Gravity works downwards. We want to go upwards, baby. Every single time. All around my neck. It feels so good. Trust me, this is very relaxing. I feel like I'm almost falling asleep. Here with you, my beautiful face. Just like that to prevent any lines and also add hydration on my neck you can go as low as you want on your cleavage on your tatas like I said and this one smells amazing and it's gonna feel wonderful on your skin the neck area and the decolletage area is one of the most neglected ones so make sure you're treating it and also targeting this area with creams and serums and something super nice you can always go for a little bit more moisturizer on top of this one but this one is just hydrating enough that I don't need to put anything else now the last product that I'm gonna be applying on this beautiful face of mine is gonna be a lip mask and this balm or this lip sleeping mask from Laneige is one of my great findings in 2021 almost at the end I got this one in a Christmas haul from a bunch of products that I decided to purchase and to give myself for Christmas and the holiday season on the Black Friday sale and trust me this one is so worth it this is the the berry or the blue Blueberry one, yeah, this is the blueberry one. It has a very sweet and subtle fragrance that is just not overpowering, and it comes with this beautiful pouch and a little silicone spoon so you can apply it. This one, ever since I've been using it from using retinol, you can dry out your lips a ton. It happens to me all the time that my lips are super dry from the use of retinol, but with this one, I've noticed a difference, my beautiful babes. I know that this one can be a little bit more prime. I see, but trust me, they're worth it. So if you can splurge a little bit, my recommendation is just go for this, especially if you suffer from chapped lips or really dry lips. I'm, I'm gonna be applying a very generous amount, both top and bottom lip. I love to rub it in, go with a little bit more. I don't mind if it goes a little bit outside the edges of my lips. It feels thick. I don't know what kind of sorcery there's in this one, but no lip balm that I've tried has made my lips as smooth as this one does. 
They're super glossy, comfortable. They don't taste good, though, so... Make sure you're not eating them, because they don't taste so good. They were not designed to be eaten. Mm, take a look how glossy my lips look. Gorgeous. And then I always clean the spoon. I put it back in because I'm a tidy girl but like this and this one came in a kit with three this is like the large size the regular size and then two minis it was a ginger cookie ginger something and peppermint so I can't wait to try those but in the meantime I decided to go with the largest one to try them out and I'm so happy and what do you think how's my skin looking don't you think it looks so good it looks plumped juicy no and if you saw me at the beginning of the video and then you see me now, well, this is the real me. No makeup, no nothing, just creams. But I do love the skin that I'm living in. I do love everything that's happening with my skin because I'm seeing changes and results from being super, super diligent and super constant with my skincare routine. My best recommendation, my beautiful babies, and the last one is to be super constant, super disciplined with your skincare routine. Don't forget, especially if you wear makeup do not ever please i beg you do not ever go to bed before removing your eye makeup your entire face makeup otherwise you're gonna get breakouts wrinkles clogged pores a lot of unnecessary evils that you don't want to have on your skin so these are just a couple of the things that really work for me i also do of course a lot of masks during the night i've shown those in shorts format so i do have a bunch of videos about those and very soon mask nights are coming back again they're coming back your way because a lot of people have been asking me like what happened with mask night I do keep applying my masks every single night or different nights on the week I just haven't been able to film it because the thingy where you put your phone and you film the shorts and the TikToks and everything broke down so right now I'm unable to replace it but very soon once I get that done I'm gonna be coming back with more shorts and TikToks and everything so just bear with me a little bit on that in the meantime I have the longer videos where I explain everything in detail. I always love to be a little bit more thorough, give you everything that you need to know when it comes to the products, my honest review, and trust me, these are products that I've been using for years with exception of this Laneige that I don't even know why I hadn't found this brand before. It's such a life changing for me that I use retinol, my lips get super dry and chapped and also the cold. I've always suffered from dry lips but now I feel like they're under control just because of this mask and I also love that it adds this very nice hue of color and gloss. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm so tired. Take a look. I kid you not. This is almost 2 a.m. in the morning. It's just like 1.58 a.m. My eyes are literally closing because I'm so tired, my beautiful babies. But I knew that I had to film this video because a lot of you have been asking me. I know that this was a 100% English video, but I also know that everything that I showed and the steps and the massage and the tips are going to be super understandable for my Spanish-speaking babies out there. So the last thing that I want to say, I know that I look crazy right now. I don't look as glamorous as I started the video. And now I feel cuter, you know? When you learn to love the skin you live in, you're gonna live a much healthier, happier, and just fulfilling life. So I'm at that point. Luckily, I like my skin, I like my face, I like my features, I like the person that I'm becoming. I haven't become. I'm becoming every single day. So that's the message or the moral that I want to finish this video with is that you have to learn to love the skin you live in because it's the only one you have. So if you can take good care of it and you can keep it budget friendly just do whatever works for you if you're a bougie queen if you're someone who loves to spend on skincare i am one of those go for it if you can't there are always more affordable options like the ordinary or oriflame or neutrogena on the supermarket or in target on cds on different places where you can find great products for lower prices all right my beautiful babes so thank you all so 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 much for watching don't forget before you leave subscribe ring the bell leave a comment something fresh and spa related go follow me on other social media platforms you know how to find me you know my handle joe gomez beauty and last but not least let me remind you that you and i have a date very very soon my beautiful baby thank you all so much for watching
Love you so much. Bye. Nos vemos muy pronto en el siguiente video. Saben, videos en inglés, en español. Este canal es muy internacional. It's a very international channel for all of you to watch, for all of you to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh! Disclaimer! I forgot to mention the cleanser that I'm using and right now and currently I'm using this Normaderm Phyto Solution or Phyto Solution Gel Purifying Intense. This one deeply cleanses the skin and it has a plant origin. I love this one. This is a jumbo size. I got it on the drugstore. It's just great. I love it. I like this one. You know that I also love my La Roche-Posay one, the one for sensitive skin, but I I wanted to try this one out and honestly I do not regret it at all. This is such a great cleanser. This is the one that I used back then before I started using La Roche-Posay. This one is a little bit cheaper so you know you have to be a little bit more budget friendly and I love this one so sorry my beautiful babes I was just half sleep and I forgot to mention this one. It's a little water. Don't forget these are the products that I love and that honestly work for me. So love you so much. Ahora sí, bye. Hasta muy pronto. Tito, babies.